Apple's T2 security chip has an unfixable flaw. Wah, wah. <laughs> so now you lose your data. Um, but hey, it was all for security. Hey, you got him. Uh, okay, so a recently released tool by hacking group CheckRain is letting anyone exploit an unusual Mac vulnerability to bypass Apple's trusted T2 security chip and gain deep system access. The hack is based on the Checkmate crack that has been used to jailbreak older iPhones and iPads for some time now, which relies on a similar, if not identical, flaw in the T2 security chip. The T2 chip provides secure encryption and storage access for features like Touch ID and full disk encryption, and has been criticized for causing an inability to install third-party operating systems outside of Apple's official bootcamp support. One hacker has apparently even gotten the broken T2 chip to run Linux on the MacBook Touch Bar. Wow, that's pretty cool. Critically for Apple, the access also means that activation lock can be bypassed, which could result in a rise in theft in Apple, of Apple devices. That's a bummer because that's one of the things that's really nice about full disk yeah. encryption and th this this kind of like uh, encryption chip lockery tomfoolery is that you can basically leave a phone like if it's a if it's an encrypted device, you could basically leave a phone somewhere and know that unless someone really just wants the like $14 that they'll get for giving it to a recycler, there's a solid chance they'll call the number on your lock screen and try and return it to you because a locked phone is basically worthless. Um, not anymore. File Vault encryption keys are also stored in the T2, which means encrypted user data is also at risk if a device is stolen. This is a big deal for all the enterprises that have a bunch of Apple devices deployed to their staff. And the flaw is apparently virtually unpatchable as a result of its low-level nature, meaning that all existing T2-enabled Macs are likely vulnerable and will remain vulnerable indefinitely. Now, there's some good news. Um, it can't be done remotely and requires physical access to the vulnerable computer, and that's rule number one of like electronics security is physical access is access so yeah. basically no changes there um and it also isn't persistent so any changes to the t2 are lost when it resets which is not necessarily at the same time the computer resets by the way check rain security researcher danny l tweeted that the t2 exploit isn't as big as people might think because it's been known for over a year and other more serious vulnerabilities exist this attack requires deliberate targeting to be truly scary um, Anthony's note is that this is interesting because if this has been known about widely in the security community, it raises questions about anti-encryption legislation's rationale against Apple. Yeah, it does kind of, doesn't it? Why do they even care if uh, Apple's encryption is there if it's just broken anyway? <laughs> if it's bad, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that's a whole, that's almost like a whole separate WAN show, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't have time for that because Luke and I got to play video games tonight. <laughs>